Hi, everyone. Anthony Morganti here. Recently, I stumbled across a video where someone was using ChatGPT to create a video LUT. And that got me thinking, if ChatGPT can create video LUTs, can ChatGPT create Lightroom presets? Well, the answer is yes. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it. But let's first mention why you may want to do this. You may stumble across an image taken by a photographer that you really like their style. You like the way they edited their image and you'd like to do it to your images, but you really don't know how. Well, that's where ChatGPT will come in. What you will need is two images. First of all, you'll need their image. And for this demonstration, I have this image that I renamed image one. It is actually an Adobe stock image. And as you can tell, it's really an AI image. This, these aren't real people. But it has distinctive editing done to it. And along with this, I have this other image that I renamed Image 2. Now, these are both JPEGs. This is a wedding that I took uh, a year or two ago. And this is an unedited file. Um, it started out as an unedited RAW file. This is a JPEG version of the file. Now, once we do create the preset, I am going to apply it to the raw file, but you need two JPEGs to start. So you'll need one JPEG that has the look you want the preset based off of, and then you need another file that is going to be your file that you want to look like that other image. So we have these two images. We're going to go then to chat GPT, and I'm going to upload both images by clicking the little plus uh, sign. I'm going to click on image one. This is the Adobe stock image and then image two. That's my image. They're, again, they're both JPEGs. So they're both uploaded. Then I'm just going to write this prompt. And the more precise you could be, the better the preset will be. Now, I, I'm going to say before I even start uh, to creating the preset, I tried this three times. And the first time it actually nailed it. It was almost perfect. The next two times left something to be desired. So Results may vary, so I don't know what I'm going to get here. So here's what I wrote. Analyze the editing done on the photo with the name image1.jpg. That's the Adobe stock image. And create a Lightroom.xmp preset that will make the image with the name image2.jpg look exactly the same. Most importantly, I want you to match the brightness level, tonal range, and lack of color. That's that's what it had. Now, one thing I want to do real quick, I'm just going to check. Uh, image one is actually JPEG, so I should modify this. It's not, not uh, as I wrote it. So just to correct that, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to upload or click the up arrow. And what will happen is uh, ChatGPT will analyze the image, and it will kind of give you step-by-step step what it's doing. See, right now it's saying, I will now analyze the editing applied to image1.jpg and create a Lightroom.xmp preset to transform image2.jpg to match it in terms of brightness, tonal range, and color desaturation. Let me process the images and generate the preset. Now you can see it's still saying analyzing. And I mentioned I did this uh, three times prior. And the first time I tried it, the one that worked very well, it took quite a while to do it. It took like a couple minutes. The second time, um, it did it within maybe 25 seconds, 20, less than 30 seconds. Then the third time, it did it somewhere in between. And as I mentioned, the first time, it, it was perfect. And then the next two times, it wasn't very good at all. Um, but I will say that the third time it did it, it got me close. I just had to move two sliders to make it look more similar. Uh, so... Now it's saying it will generate the XMP preset with the adjustments. And once it does, there'll be a link for me to download it. Now it's looked like this one's taken a while. So I may have to pause. Oops, wait, here it is. Yep, there's my download right there. So I could just click on this and it will download the .xmp preset that will work in all versions of Lightroom, all current versions of Lightroom, and it will work in Adobe Camera Raw as well. So there's my preset. Now I'm going to go over to Lightroom Classic. 
And you could see that this is the Adobe stock image. And you could see that it says Adobe stock down here at the bottom. And this is the image that I took. Uh, it was taken with the Nikon Z9, as you could see. And I am going to bring in the preset that ChatGPT um, just created by clicking the little plus sign. It's by the presets panel in the develop module. We'll go to import presets. I have it on my desktop right there. We'll click import. And once it imports, it will be in the folder user presets. If you don't see that, what you could do is go to this little plus sign and go down to manage presets and then make sure user presets has a check mark next to it and then click save. And then when you do, you'll see it. Now, all I should need to do is hover over it and it will apply it. And you can see that it's, it's okay. It's not as good, but I'll apply it by clicking on it. So here is the version that, or the image that I used to base the preset off of. And here is my image with the editing done. So it is close. You can see there and there, and that's it. Now you could come in, of course, and tweak it. You can see it only did uh, basic adjustments. It looked like it brought vibrance and saturation down and it did some color grading. So it really didn't do a ton uh, to the image, uh, but I could bring exposure up a little bit more maybe. And then I think I want to make the blacks just a little darker because that's how this one maybe was. Just a little darker. Maybe I could go to tone curve and I could come over here and just fade it a little bit. But you could see how you could tweak it and make it look more like what you're trying to achieve. And that's that. And so that's how you use ChatGPT to create a Lightroom preset. I don't think I'd ever do it, but maybe you would. Thank you. Everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.